All right. Graph, graph the function given by y equal given by y equal len 1 minus x. First, len u. Len u of x. u of x is 1 minus x. First, we have to find the domain of definition. u of x, which is 1 minus x, should be greater than 0. Always, u len u of x. The u of x should be greater than 0. This means that negative x is greater than negative 1. So, x is always less than 1. So, what is my domain? Domain of this function, f of x, is domain of f is when x belongs to 1, open at 1, 2, plus uh, 2, uh, sorry, x less than 1 means from minus infinity <clears throat> up to 1, open at 1, x less than 1. 2, for the open interval, we do the limits, limit of f of x as x approaches negative infinity is equal to limit of len <coughs> limit of len 1 minus x as x approaches negative infinity substitute negative infinity instead of x we get what we get len 1 plus infinity which is len infinity len plus infinity and len plus infinity is equal to plus infinity <coughs> limit of f of x as x approaches 1 as x approaches 1 is equal to limit of len 1 minus x as x approaches 1 1 minus for sure which is equal len 1 minus 1 instead of x which is equal to len this is 1 minus because cannot be equal to 1 for sure it's it goes from minus infinity up to one open at one this means it cannot reach one so it's one minus so what do we have here one minus a, a bit less than one so we got zero plus right <clears throat> len zero is equal to what len zero right there's no len zero so len zero plus is equal to minus infinity as x approaches <coughs> 1, sorry, as x approaches 1 equal infinity, this means x equal 1 is a vertical asymptote. Okay? Third step, we should do the derivative. What is the f prime of x or f of x? Or f of x? Or y, y prime, I mean. f prime of x or y prime is equal to what? We have the function y equal len. 1 minus x, lin u. What is the derivative of lin u? It's u prime divided by u. What is the derivative of 1 minus x? It's minus 1 over 1 minus x. 1 minus x is strictly positive value, right? That's what uh, the first condition of the domain. And this is negative, so it's negative over positive is negative. This means f is a decreasing function. Fourth, we find the table of variation, right? Fourth, we draw the table of variation of this function. Okay, first x, what is the domain? Goes from minus infinity up to exactly 1, but could not equal to 1, right? So to 1 minus. And this is <clears throat> the derivative of prime of x, and this is f of x, the function f prime of x cannot be equal to zero it's a strictly negative function so it is strictly minus and the function is strictly decreasing f of x limit of f of x as x approaches minus infinity is plus infinity we found it by the limit so this is plus infinity and goes down to the limit as x approaches one minus it is minus infinity so it goes one it goes from plus infinity <coughs> to minus infinity that's great Five, we find particular points, and six, we draw. Five, we find particular points. Again, y equal len of one minus x, right? Okay, particular points, if it goes from plus infinity to minus infinity, so it, it's going to cut x axis, right? So if x equals zero, or if y equals zero, let's say, cuts x axis, this means y equals zero, the same. We can take x equals 0. If y equals 0, this implies that 
y uh, uh, y equals zero. This implies that len one minus x equals zero, and uh, zero is len one. This means one minus x is equal to one. This means minus x is equal to zero. This means x equals zero. So we have a point zero zero. So it goes through the origin. It goes through the origin, passes through the origin. That's great. We can find another particular points if we want, if we want to be to to uh, do the graph exactly. So let's say <coughs> if let's take if uh, uh, if x if if y if y equals to one y one because one is equal to ln e. So this means that y equal to one. This means ln. 1 minus x equal to 1, and that is equal to ln e. This means that 1 minus x, right, is equal to e, is equal to e. So, in this case, x is equal to 1 minus e. We have another point, abscess of 1 minus e, and ordinate <coughs> 1. e is uh, 2.718, etc. So, it's approximately 1 minus 2.718, or 1 minus 2.7. Two, so the answer is like minus 1.72 approximation, right? And uh, what else? We can take another point if you want. If y equal minus 1, this means that len 1 minus x is equal to minus 1, which is equal to minus len e, which is equal to len e to the power minus 1, because we can take this minus 1 and make it as exponent, right? And uh, this means it is equal to ln e to the power minus 1. This means 1 minus x is equal to e power minus 1, which is 1 over e. This means that x is equal to 1 minus 1 over e. So another point, abscess of 1 minus 1 over e and ordinate minus 1. <coughs> also, we can find this point. We can find this point, approximation equal to how much, and we can put it on the curve. Now, directly the function to curve. When we do the table of variation, it helps us a lot, even without finding the uh, particular points, right? I'm going to draw fast. Suppose this is the y-axis and this is the x-axis. The most important uh, line here is x equal 1. Why? Because x equal 1 is the vertical asymptote, right? x equal to 1 is the vertical asymptote. This point equal to 1. And uh, it passes through 0, 0, right? It comes uh, through the point 1 minus e, we said uh, 1, 1 uh, ordinate, and 1 minus e abscissa, which is minus 1.7 something, right? This is it. So it passes through this point, it passes through this point, and it passes through uh, minus 1 ordinate. That's what we found. And something for x, if we find, find it, it will be uh, somewhere more than 0 0.5. So it passes through this one. And you can check its increasing, its decreasing function goes from minus infinity of abscess of x axis plus infinity of y axis passes through zero zero and it goes through this point and it goes to minus infinity of the asymptote x equal one. And that's it.